What's going on, Easy Agent Pro? Is this Mike here? And in one of the previous videos, we got a good comment from one of our uh, subscribers, and I thought I would go over a little bit more in depth as opposed to just answering briefly inside of the comment section. So uh, let's go over the exact comment and see what he was asking. So the first thing that he was asking is he was wondering if we had um, a video on how to plan a campaign in order to uh, market a listing with Facebook ads. Do you go for traffic and then shoot for conversions? How do you find a base of buyers? What makes people schedule visits and not just see only a video how do you get facebook to charge cpc and not just buy impressions without sacrificing traffic help is very much appreciated thanks in advance and thank you for uh leaving your comment and you know i wanted to give you uh since your comment was very inquisitive and very uh, informative I think it may help out a lot of people i thought i would actually make a video in regards to it so that uh because i feel like this this type of comment deserves more than just a simple answer to it so Let's go down line by line and look at each question that was asked and answer each one. So uh, do I have a campaign? Uh, do I have a plan uh, for how I market my listings with Facebook ads? And do I go for traffic and then shoot for conversions? So between these two questions, uh, it's kind of a similar answer. So when I am looking for uh, how I'm going to be running my Facebook ads, there's three things that I'm looking for. Uh, the first thing that I look for is how am I going to sell this property um, uh, via Facebook ads if I'm going to find a buyer for the property on the Facebook ads. If I'm going to find other buyers, so for other houses that may be interested in houses like this, but this house isn't necessarily perfect for them, which is going to be most people. People. And three, how can I leverage this listing and able to get more listings? Uh, so let's I'm going to unpack each of them and it's going to kind of answer the next question. So for when looking for how to uh, get a buyer for this specific property, I am going to be creating a ad that is going to be pretty much a just listed or coming soon or an open house ad pretty much any of the ads that i went over in the previous video that uh was post that was one one of the previous videos that was posted on this easy A's and pro channel talking about uh four different types of ways to advertise your listings on facebook i'm going to be posting one of those ads and hopefully somebody that comes into there uh is going to like the property they're going to either schedule a showing or they're going to be looking using their own real estate agent to go see the property property place an offer on it but we all know that almost a hundred percent of people find their property online these days so by just putting my putting the house out there and making it more accessible to more people possibly people that wouldn't necessarily see it uh, on the MLS or may f fall through a crack that their realtor may forget to send to them or they may not see on Zillow I'm possibly gonna find a buyer for the property this way through the Facebook ad now when it comes to finding an actual buyer for other properties I'm going to be accentuating this when it comes to my targeting I'm going to be going over things that would make people be interested in this house so what type of price range are they going to be looking for is there anything specific about this house that may be good for say a first-time home buyer or somebody that's getting divorced and downsizing is it it may be a bigger property for somebody that just had a child and are looking to get a bigger house um, these types of things are things that I'm going to be looking at inside of my targeting and things that I'm going to be adding to my Facebook ad and hopefully people that are interested in these types of things and possibly this type of listing they're going to be interested in other houses that are like this and i can leverage this listing to possibly tell them hey i see that you like this property and i know that it doesn't necessarily fit all of your needs let me show you some of the other properties that are on the market that match your criteria and help them out from there just creating a dialogue and building a relationship with them to be their realtor that they're going to use so following up with that leveraging that leveraging this listing to get other listings by doing a good job with marketing this property, not cheaping out when it comes to getting my photos or having a good video package for the property and doing a good job marketing it with the Facebook ads and open house and all of that. I am looking to convert a lot of people that may not be looking to sell to people that are looking to sell if they are thinking that oh this is a good realtor he knows what he's doing he could possibly get me some more he could possibly get more people to come to my house and he could possibly get me top dollar and sell my house in the shortest amount of time which is what every seller wants so these are the main goals that i have and this is what i'm shooting for when it comes to every single listing that i get and when it comes to marketing them on facebook now when it comes to finding a base of buyers which was the next question that he asked i pretty much do the exact same thing like i've mentioned when it comes to the targeting i think about what is the 
uh, what are some of the attractors to this house? What would be the person that would be looking to buy this house? Would it be, is it ideal for a family? Is it something that is going to be good for a first time home buyer? Good for uh, somebody that's downsizing? All of these different type of things and different types of attributes that could be for somebody that's looking to buy this type of specific house. These, that is what I'm going to use to build a base of buyers. And also in building that base of buyers, what I'm going to be doing is uh, building up lookalike audiences as well. So if I know that I ran a listing for uh, a house that was similar to this, I can run a lookalike audience based upon the ads that I ran for that if I had good success with that ad. And then I won't have to worry about targeting as much because uh, Facebook is going to be using the people that were actually interested in the previous ad, using them to create an audience of other people that are like them that would be interested in this ad and in this house. So it saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of headaches when it comes to uh, trying to figure out these types of things. Now, when it comes to making people schedule a visit as opposed to just watching a video and converting people, converting leads to actual uh, clients and people that are going to sign contracts, it all comes down to making sure that your property is going to show correct, show correctly and show right and is going to have a good price could go along with it. A house could be the perfect house for somebody, but if it's $30,000 above what it should be priced at, then nobody's going to put an offer in on it. This is the same way that one of my tactics uh, when it comes to my listings is I will have a property and I will specifically price it under market value by a good bit and then i will have multiple and then i will make sure that nobody's able to see the property nobody's able to come by to the property for at least a week or two to garner some interest in the property seeing that it is so priced undervalued and uh, people are going to be interested in it and then i will have an open house and by having that open house when it's the first time that people are able to see it you're more than likely going to get multiple offers on the property and then after you're getting these multiple offers you can let the other agents know to send in their highest and best offer and more than more times than not you're going to get above what you would originally have wanted above the actual market value for the property because so many people saw the house fell in love with the house and now they want this house so that is one way that you can you know turn people that are you know just going to be looking and watching a video and looking at a few pictures to turning them into people that are actually going to take action with your listings that's just one of the tactics that i use and it, when it comes to using cpc instead of impressions in my experience i haven't necessarily seen much difference when it comes to switching from cpc to impressions um i haven't seen a drop off in traffic i haven't seen um you know a drop off uh in the amount of money that i'm spending for click uh i believe this all comes down to your targeting itself not uh how you're spending your money on the actual ad as long as your targeting is done correctly you really don't have to worry about uh losing amount of traffic because if your targeting is done correctly and you are targeting that one specific person that is actually going to be interested in the property would you mind paying double the amount for the lead if they're going to be putting in an offer as opposed to not paying because you don't want to pay over 30 40 cents for a lead uh, and not get somebody to buy the house because it's a bunch of people that are just looking and people that are just browsing it's just something to think about in my, own, my opinion I worry more about targeting than the actual cost per click or the actual about of impressions now uh, if you have any questions about this video or you want me to go more in depth on any more of the topics be sure to leave them down in the comment section below of course I'll be down there answering all questions and maybe I'll make a video about it to be able to help you and other people out more if you like the video be sure to leave it a like down below it helps the channel to grow and lets us know you enjoy these types of videos if you're new be sure to subscribe so you're not missing out on any of the new videos that we put out on our channel and my name is Michael Hicks I'll see you in the next one